members of the IGF Multi-Stakeholder Advisory Group. It is a pleasure for me to address you on behalf of the United Nations. Let me first thank the 2022 MAC members for shaping a successful meeting at Sababa and for laying the groundwork for this year's preparations on our way to Kyoto. The 2022 IGF brought together more than 5,000 stakeholders from over 170 countries and representing multiple disciplines. The dialogue and the exchanges in Addis Ababa delivered a forward-looking and action-oriented messages. They are aimed at improving the digital landscape and shaping a resilient and inclusive internet that can contribute to the global good. Stakeholders called for better cooperation to bridge the digital divide. They encouraged more effective deployment of the critical infrastructure and the need of the broad-based development of digital competencies and skills. And they placed a particular emphasis on the need to include women and girls in all spheres of a digital life. Stakeholders called us to work towards a single, safe, secure, and unfragmented internet. And they noted the need for good digital policy that would allow us to embrace new technology in the service of, and not at the expense of, humanity. Let us keep these and many more messages from Addis Ababa in mind as we design the agenda for IGF 2023. This year's multi-stakeholder advisory group has an important task ahead. You need to put together a program that will further move the needle on the implementation. The agenda of the 18th annual meeting must be ambitious. You also need to ensure that the Kyoto IGF enables all stakeholders to contribute to decision-making. It must reflect the priorities of the people living around the world. The IGF 2023 themes must be carefully crafted, guided by inputs of stakeholders and institutions received through the IGF's public call. The new leadership panel will be a valuable partner in your preparations to make the IGF even more strategic and impactful. I have no doubt that the IGF 2023 agenda will tackle the long-standing challenges and emerging ones and provide insight on policy issues highlighted in the Global Digital Compact proposed by the UN Secretary General. Thank you very much, and I wish you a fruitful meeting.